Tom Chomley arrived at the High Court at around 9 a.m. His arrival sparked off a media scramble that led to Chomley's falling down. Inside the courtroom, the case got underway with the Enjoyer and Chomley families looking on anxiously. Justice Apondi had found Chomley guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter last week. He had been charged with the murder of Stone Mason Robert Joyer on May 10, 2006. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Kiriako Tobiko, called on Justice Apondi to adhere to some principles before sentencing, chief among them the principle of proportionality and equality. If the intention of the accused person was to chase away or scare off the deceased and his colleagues and their dogs from his land, he could still have achieved that aim without the risk of injuring any person by firing in the air. In his submission, defense lawyer Fredo Giambo sought to negate the intensity of the crime. Your Lordship, I submit, would have to consider the conduct of the accused person prior and after the offence. Tobiko also wanted the powerful nature of the weapon to be considered, the arguing that Chomley's willingness to shoot will exemplified his rashness of thought. Chomley's conduct after shooting is the only thing the two lawyers seem to have agreed on. After shooting the deceased, the accused person himself personally administered first aid on him. Ojiambo even suggested that the late Joya's family be taken care of by Chomley's. From now henceforth, there will be the opportunity, to the extent humanly possible, to assuage the pain that exists. But after an hour of submissions, Justice Apondi said he was not ready to pass judgment. The sentence is hereby reserved to 14th of May 2009 at 11.30 a.m. That is on Thursday this week at 11.30 in the meantime, the accused is hereby remanded in custody. Well, for the second time now, these corridors of justice have been slow in passing a sentence that has been eagerly awaited for in a case that has attracted both international and local attention. This is perhaps an indication that this case is indeed a high-profile one. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen TV at the High Court in Nairobi.